Salam Allah alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, sallallahu alayhi wa barakatuh, wa Aujourd'hui, inshallah, je vais vous expliquer le cours numéro 8. I will explain that session number 8 and the last session of this program for the newcomers. With the last session, we explain in the four, first four sessions, uh, or sheets, or uh, lessons, we explain together the uh, French simple sentence and how it works, how we understand uh, a French sentence, and how do we say a French simple sentence with the pronunciation too, with the grammar, vocabulary, uh, pronunciation, phonétique, phonics, uh, and the other skills too, the writing and uh, the reading. Okay, today, inshallah, let's finish. And with the last uh, four sessions, we explain together uh, reading comprehensions, listening, uh, and all this just to improve your skills to proceed with your friends in the school in the next trimester or semester inshallah to be able to study the normal uh, methods and the normal books the normal level like them inshallah to join them let's start our last session ma belle chambre my beautiful or my nice bedroom my beautiful or my nice bedroom salut tu va bien hi tu va bien everything is okay tu va bien to hear everything Va bien is okay. Moi, c'est Aisha. Aisha, it's the pronunciation of the French language. A I here Aisha, but in Arabic we say Aisha or Aisha. C'est Aisha. Je suis South uh, Sudanese. Je suis Sudanese. I'm from Sudan, uh, from Sudan. Mais um, j'habite à Riyadh en Saudi. But I live in Riyadh uh, in Saudi Arabia. Notre maison est 45 hours. House is 45. This is the number of the building of the house. Rue Al-Walaya, Al-Walaya Street, au quartier al Alourout, in al neighborhood or district. Nous vivons dans un appartement au troisième étage. We live. Vivons, it's verb vivre. Verb vivre, verb to live. It's like verb habiter, verb to live too. Dans un appartement au troisième étage. In an apartment au troisième étage. In the third floor. Il est grand, it's, il here, it means uh, he. We are talking about the apartment. Pay attention that the word apartment is in French, male, and we replace it with il. So we are talking here about the apartment. Il est grand et chic. It's uh, grand, big, and chic. This word we use it in Arabic, like chic, like uh, nice or um, elegant, like that. Il y a, uh, il y a trois chambres à coucher. There are three bedrooms. Chambre à coucher means bedrooms. Une pour mes parents, one for my parents, et les deux autres pour moi et ma soeur. And the other two, les deux autres and the two others, pour moi, for me, et ma soeur and my sister. Une salle de séjour, a living room. Un salon, salon est salon. Une salle à manger, dining or eating room. Des toilettes. Une salle toilette, une salle de bain, the bathroom, the hall room, et un couloir. Un couloir, it means a corridor. It means a corridor. Uh, again, I will read that. Ma belle chambre, salut, tout va bien? Moi, c'est Aisha, je suis sodanaise, uh, mais j'habite à Riyadh en Saoudite. Notre maison est 45 rue al au quartier al -Ouroud. Nous vivons dans un appartement au troisième étage. Il est grand et chic. Il y a trois chambres à coucher, une pour mes parents et les deux autres pour moi et ma sœur. Une euh, salle de séjour, un salon, une salle à manger, des toilettes, une salle de bain et un couloir. Parlons de ma chambre, talking about my bedroom, elle est spacieuse. Spacieuse, it means a big room. Moi, je sais en arabe quoi ça? Et jolie. Jolie, this word is the synonym of belle. Julie like beautiful room. Dans ma chambre, il y a un lit. In my bedroom, there is a bed, de commode, like you say in Arabic, comodino, une commode, une lampe, lamp, sur un bureau, on an office, une chaise, chair, devant le bureau. A chair in front of uh, the office, my office. Il, uh, un fauteuil, fauteuil, it means like a chair, but... Uh, the difference between in chaise, this is the normal chair. In chaise, it's like um, the one of the um, living room. The one of the living room. The chair of the living room. This one is a fauteuil. But in chaise, this is the normal one where we sit uh, 
uh, on the on the office like that or the dining room. Uh, un fauteuil à côté d'une armoire et d'une étagère. À côté means beside une armoire. Armoire means a closet for our clothes. Et d'une étagère. Étagère means a shelf pour mes livres, for my books. Sur le sol, on the uh, floor, il y a un tapis. There is un tapis vert, a green carpet. Sur les murs, on the walls, il y a un tableau. Tableau, it's like tableau like saying Arabic et quelques affiches and some posters pour la gymnastique. Uh, here tableau is like drawing or painting. Quelques affiches means uh, posters and the, the French people they, are, they use the word poster also instead of affiche sometimes. Pour la gymnastique à poutre. Pour la gymnastique à poutre. Gymnastique means gymnastics. À poutre. This word gymnastique à poutre is like we say in Arabic kumbaz. Le patinage et le ski. Patinage it means uh, The, the ice skating, the ice skating, patinage, okay, et le ski, this is the ice skating uh, too, but this one or an artificial track, okay, like we have here in Panorama Mode, we have patinage, and this, le ski, it means uh, the ice skating or skiing, or skiing. Let's read again. Parlons de ma chambre, elle est spacieuse et jolie. Dans ma chambre, il y a un lit, deux commodes, une lampe sur un bureau, une chaise devant le bureau, un fauteuil à côté d'une armoire et d'une étagère pour mes livres. Sur le sol, il y a un tapis vert. Sur les murs, il y a un tableau et quelques affiches pour la gymnastique à poutre, le patinage et le ski. Lis bien le document pour y répondre aux questions. Où habite Aïcha Eriot Okay, where does she live, Ariad? There is no does in the question, sure, in French, because there is no do or does or that. Donc, elle, we can say Aisha, Aisha, or elle, habite. Habite, it means live. We can say habite or vie. Okay, where does she live in Riyadh exactly? Here we need this full address. Uh, okay, 45 rue à Here, like that. Okay, here the answer. Elle vit, 40. That's it. Elle habite 45 rue à l'Olaya, au quartier Alourou. This is the specific, uh, the specific address in Riyadh. Donc, the other question. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur le sol? What's on the floor? Uh, Qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur le sol? Sur le sol, il y a un tapis. Sur le sol, il y a un tapis vert. Here is the answer. Sur le sol, il y a un tapis uh, vert. Okay. The other question, il y a combien de chambres à coucher? How many bedrooms are there? Donc, il y a, there is, or there are. Il y a trois chambres à coucher. Il y a trois chambres à coucher. D'où vient Aisha? D'où vient, d'où, from where? Vient comme Aisha. Okay, where, where does Aisha come from? Okay, or from where does she come? Elle vient, or you can say elle est en Sudanese, as we said here. Let's copy it. Okay. So you can say the nationality or the country itself as you like. You can say the country or the nationality. She came from, like we say in Arabic, uh, Sudan. Uh, donc, uh, comment est l'appartement? Comment est Uh, l'appartement, how the apartment. Donc, we need here, comment, we need the, the, the description of the apartment. Pay attention, we didn't say the bedroom of the girl, but we said the apartment. Donc, uh, dans un appartement au troisième étage. We can start uh, with the third floor. Il est grand et chic. Ok, il y a trois, il est... That's it here. Donc, il est grand et chic. Comment est la chambre? We're talking now about the bedroom of the specific bedroom of the girl. Donc, comment est la chambre? How is la chambre? Elle est spacieuse. Parlons de la chambre. Elle est spacieuse et jolie. Elle est spacieuse et jolie. Spacieuse is like grand. The same thing. Elle. 
Donc, à quel étage okay. And what floor est l'appartement Dans le troisième, we said, I think, let's go back to the text. Yes, au troisième étage. Au troisième étage. So here. L'appartement, we can say the apartment, or we can say il. As you like, we can say l'appartement est, or il est, hein, au troisième étage. Il est au troisième étage. It's in the third floor. Uh, Est-ce qu'il y a un lustre dans sa chambre? Lustre means like uh, its lamp uh, hanged on the, from the roof. Okay, it's like saying Arabic nagafa. Najaf. Okay, est-ce qu'il y a un lustre dans sa chambre? Non. Il n'y a pas de, un will be de, lustre. Okay, dans sa chambre. We can say, we can say, uh, il n'y a pas de lustre, there is no any lustre, or we can say the opposite. Non, il y a une lampe, there is a lamp only. Sure there is, but we are answering according to the in comprehension. So here, mais vrai ou faux, elle est une seule commode, elle a une seule commode, she has only one commode. Seul means only one, like seulement means only one two. So here, yeah, sure, it's uh, false. Cette fille a un frère, this girl has a brother. Sure, it's no, she has a, a sister, she said here. Une pour moi, pour moi, for me. And she is a girl, Aisha. Et ma soeur and my sister. So she doesn't have, according to the text, sure. Il y a des posters sur les murs. Poster means affiche. The synonym of affiche, so it's true. There are posters on the walls, yes. Il y a des posters and they use the word here, affiche. Affiche equal uh, poster. Et il y a une lampe sous le bureau. There is a lamp, yes. Le bureau, ok, ou the office, but here, it's uh, under the office, or sur, or on the office, so it's uh, sur, on, not under, so this sentence is false. Cette fille sportive, yes, we can, we can understand that, on peut uh, conclure ça, we can, uh, can understand this from the posters, she likes la gymnastique apôtre, like uh, as we said, patinage and le ski, so we can say it's uh, true, she is sportive because she likes Uh, she has uh, posters on the wall about the sports. Elle déteste les uh, sports de neige. She hates les sports de neige. She hates les sports de neige. Neige is, is the snow sports. The, or the sports of the snow. So it's uh, false. She likes it. Donc, qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? What is this? Or comment ça s'appelle? What does it mean? Or what is the name of this? Okay, the first thing you can say here, say, huh, or ça s'appelle. You can say here, but well, let's start in the beginning. Say, uh, une armoire, it's a closet. Or you can say, ça s'appelle, according to the question here, comment ça s'appelle. Ça s'appelle, une armoire. As you like, you can say this or this. Une armoire. Okay, or we can say it with a uh, short way. We can say only the word. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est une étagère, shelf, une étagère. Okay. Les terroirs, it means the drawers. Okay. Terroir, it means drawers. It's another word. This is un tapis. Un tapis. Tapis carpet, if you want to say uh, rouge, un tapis rouge as you like. It's red carpet. Like this one of Cannes, le festival, bien sûr. Uh, this one is une salle de bain, une salle de bain. Une salle de bain. And pay attention, this is the whole room is une salle de bain, but this one is les toilettes. Uh, another thing here, this is une salle. Salle à manger, salle à manger, dining room, 
And this one, you can consider it as une salle de séjour. Salle de séjour, it means the living room, or it can be le salon. Okay, or it can be l'entrée. L'entrée, that's what we say in Arabic, quelle entrée. Okay, l'entrée, it can be l'entrée, as you like to say. Let's go to another thing. Uh, a grammar lesson, le féminin. How to get the feminine? Pay attention that in French, uh, when we say a word, uh, a noun, uh, or an adjective, the standard way to say it is uh, to say it in the male and singular uh, form. That's why we change or we transform or we convert from the male to the female. Then we will study the plural, how to convert from the singular to the plural. And it's very easy. The normal way or the general rule is to add it to the word well, I mean here by the word adjective or noun to add an e to make it feminine like here bavar pay attention that this consonant is uh, silent at the end of the word but when we add the vowel it will be pronounced bavar bavard this e without accent always the e at the end of any word without accent will never be pronounced always will be silent but uh, sometimes when we write it and we if we didn't pronounce any uh, letter here, just we pronounce it in this case, bavard, bavard. And here, if the word is finished with e with accent, the e with accent at the end of the word is pronounced. So there is no any problem here to add another silent e. Another e, but silent this time. Surdoué, surdoué. And this one will be silent to this one of the feminine, but this one is original. Pay attention, if the word is finished in the male form, if it's finished in the male form with E, this is an original E, so we don't need to add another E. Why? Because this E is silent, timid. This is the last sound. This E is silent. But if we add another E of the feminine like this, it will be silent too. It will be timid with another E like that. So here, these two will be the same and will never be pronounced timid, timid. But they say, no, we don't need to add another E, just we keep the same E for the male and the female. But if it's with accent, we can add. With accent, we add. Without accent, we don't add. Any word finished with these three letters, E, U, X, how we cancel the, uh, usually we cancel the X and we add S, E. We cancel the S and we add S, E, heureux, heureuse. And here the S is between two vowels, so we pronounce it like that. Any word finished with e a u, huh, we replace it with e de zel e, like bo bel, bo bel. We said here in this uh, one, bel because chambre is feminine, and we can know it from ma, ma belle chambre. We didn't say bo because chambre is feminine. If the word is finished with f, we replace the f with ve. Pay attention, sometimes we replace and sometimes we add. Pay attention to this point. We replace the F with V. Actif, active. If any word finished with O-N or E-N, we duplicate the N, then we add E. We add an E. We don't cancel anything from here. No, we add an E. Like here, bon, bon. Tunisien, tunisienne. Just it's finished with E-N, so we add an E. It's finished with O-N, so we add an E. Cas particulier, particular cases, or special cases, favori, favorite, blanc, blanche, we add H, E, marron, it will be the same, c'est un variable, we never ever change marron when it comes out as, a, as an adjective, uh, in the singular and in the plural or male or female, it will always will be the same, marron, so marron, if it comes in any uh, question, it will be marron the same, just to choose marron, don't choose any other word. Mais au féminin, un exercice, ce garçon est joli et grand. Ce garçon est joli et grand, mais au féminin. We need here to me au féminin. Pay attention to that. If we have here, ce garçon, this boy. If this one, this is, if it's a proper name, we change it to a proper name. If it's uh, uh, like common name, it will be a common name. If it's uh, pronoun, it will be a pronoun in the female form too. Pay attention to this. Ce garçon, cette fille. We can say L, which is she. Why? Because ce garçon is a common name. So we change it to a, a common female or a female common name too. 
Cette fille est, we don't change that verb because it's a stem. Ce garçon means il, I, L. Cette fille means elle, she, E, double L, E. And the verb with il and L are at the same. Je lis, here we add E for this word together femina. A, grand, we add an E to, and the, e, the D will be silent. Cette fille est jolie et grande. Jolie et grande. Elle est active. Here we have a subject uh, pronoun il, so it will be subject or pronoun féminin to. Elle est active. This word is finished with uh, F, so it will be active. Et sérieux. Ah, it will be sérieuse. Sérieux and sérieuse because it's finished with uh, UX. Uh, donc, uh, ils sont, pay attention here, that il avec S, it will be L avec S2. We don't change the number, we are, are changing the uh, from male to female. D'accord? On, on change le sexe, non, non pas le, ou bien le gendre, non pas le nombre. Elles sont, bon will be bon. Okay, we add, uh, in e. pay attention, we don't, here it's finished with O-N. O-N, that's why we add N-E. This S is already here written for the plural. We don't change anything for the plural. A, sourion. Sourion will be souriante. We add an E before the S. Je suis. Je, it can be for a boy. It can say I. And it can be for a boy or a girl. So we keep it. We don't change it. The verb is the same because we didn't change the subject to pronoun. A, un, it will be une. Un will be une. Elève, this word is finished with E. It's, it's finished, it's student, it's finished with a silent E here. We can't add another E. We can't add another E like that. So we keep the same E for masculine and feminine. Je suis une, un élève. Uh, tu es mince et fort. Tu es. Tu, it can be for a girl and a boy too, so we keep it. Tu es, the same verb. Mince. Uh, it's finished with E, so we add, we don't add another E. And the for, it will be fort. We add an E for fort. I hope you understand this. Le pluriel. Le pluriel, it means it to change from one boy to many boys, or from one girl to many girls. It means from singular to plural. But pay attention to the male and the female when we change, when we convert. The normal way, or the general rule, is to add an S to the word. And I mean by the word, as we said, adjective or noun. We add to the noun or the adjective an S. Garçon, garçon with S. If the word is finished with E, A, U, we add X. We add X. We don't replace anything. Like tableau, tableau with X. Nouveau, nouveau. Uh, like that. If any word finished with S or X or Z, we will not add any other thing, just to be the same. Un pay with S. De pay, just we change the article. Un will be de pay, one country, countries. In noua, de noua, it's the same. Un ne, de ne, the same thing. And here, cas particulier, un oeil, one eye. Un oeil, one eye, des yeux, eyes. Marron, it's the same, we never change the word marron from... Uh, from the in the in the female form or in the plural form, the same idea for orange. It would be the same in the plural. It's invariable. So here, let's do this uh, set exercise together. Il est ro. This is we need it masculin pluriel. So it will be this is il male singular. So we need it. Male plural. So it will be il, he, it will be the A for boys, il, a, the verb will be changed. Pay attention, we change the subject to pronoun and it's not the same. Il without s, with the verb, it's another thing than il with s, ils sont, and the gros here. This is finished with s. So we don't add any other thing. It's finished with s. So we don't add in another thing because we didn't change the uh, from male to female just it's from male to male but plural so we don't add uh, we don't add any other thing but in the uh, for the femina pluriel femina pluriel 
Here, this il avec s will be elle avec s, they for girls. So, the verb is the same, but gross. Here, the, the way is to add se. This is for the femina. Gross se for the femina. Then s for the plural. Pay attention that here, this is gros. This is the word gros. Okay? The se here is for the femina. The se is for the femina. And the s, the final s, is for the uh, plural. Another thing, masculine pluriel too. Mon frère, mais. Mon frère, it will be mes frères. Mais. Mon will be mes. Frères. And it can be no frère. No problem. Mes frères. Verbe mettre, it will be met. Hein? Des pantalons marron. Or it can be un pantalon marron. Des pantalons marron. Du pantalon with S. Marron is the same. Marron is the same. Why marron is the same? Because here we never ever change marron and orange in the plural. Okay, let's take a copy from this. Let's minimize it. Okay, here this is uh, femina pluriel. Femina pluriel. Mes frères, my uh, brother, it would be, it became my brothers, in the male plural, but for the feminine. In a frère, it will be sir. Frère, it will be sir. Met, the same verb. Des pantalons marrons, it's the same. Uh, of, or if you want to say jupe, as you like. If you want to change the pantalon to jupe, as you like. If you want to keep it, as you like, to be correct. Here, je suis un garçon. Je, je, it will be nous, or it will be we, some, we change the verb, nous sommes, un will be they, and here, garçon. Uh, garçon with s, sure. Here, for the féminin pluriel, féminin pluriel, je, it can be for boy or girl, so nous, we, it, it will be, for girls or boys too. Nous sommes des filles. Just garçon, it would be filles. Here another thing. Ahmed is active. Ahmed is a proper name. We have to change it to a proper name too. Like Ahmed. Uh, let's add another thing. Ahmed A Ali, par exemple. Ahmed A Ali. A will be son. Active with S. Let's change it to Femina uh, Pluriel. Let's change it to Femina Pluriel. Uh, Ahmed, it will be another thing like Sarah, A, Noura, for example, let's say Noura. Ahmed, uh, Sarah, A, Noura. Son, active will be active, to be active. I hope you understood this point. Sarah et Nora sont actives. Donc les pays, let's start together some, uh, some other words. Les pays, the countries, langues, languages, et nationalités, nationalities. Here, j'habite, j'habite en Egypte, j'habite en Saudi, j'habite en Italie, en France, aux états unis au Japon, en Allemagne, en Espagne, en Russie, en Chine, aux Émirats. Pay attention to that. Here, if the word is, finished, is starting with a vowel or finished with E, Okay, especially E. Okay, it will be started with on, like on Egypt with E, on Saudi, on Italy, on, on France, on Allemagne, uh, on Espagne, on Russie, on Chine. But if it's a plural, and I mean by plural, it's finished with S or it's compound, means two words like états unis United States, it will be O avec X. Emirat and United States, it's with EUX. And this is a grammar point. Pay attention, it can be in the exam. This is a grammar point, it can be in the exam. And here, Japan, it's not finished with S, not compound, not plural, and not finished with E, like here, Egypt or Saudi, uh, or Italy and France. So it will be O without, uh, without X and not E-N. Okay, uh, pay attention here, with the countries we have O, we have O, and we have O avec X. 
politics. Here, je parle, according to the country, on Saudi, je parle arabe, on Italy, je parle italien, je parle, I speak, je parle, and here, je parle, means I live, I live in. Je parle, I speak, je parle arabe, je parle italien, I speak Italian, je parle français, I speak French. Je parle anglais, I speak English, and this word can be for the language and can be the nationality of the United Kingdom, l'Angleterre, the England. Uh, japonais, uh, je parle japonais, japonais, je parle allemand, allemand here, the German, je parle espagnol, uh, Spanish, je parle russe, it's from Russia here, Russie, uh, chinois, it's Chinese, sure. je parle chinois. Uh, pay attention here, je suis, I am the nationality. And here, this is for a boy, this is for a girl. The nationality, for the boy, they take it, it's the same word of the language. Like if I want to say, I speak Arabic and I am Arabic, je suis arabe, hein? je parle arabe. Here, je suis égyptien, je suis saoudien, je suis italien. Look, the same word. Je suis italien, je suis, uh, je parle italien. Je parle français, je suis français. Je parle anglais, hein, je suis américain. Because it's another country, it's the language, and this is the country. Je, je parle japonais, je suis japonais. Je parle allemand, je suis allemand. Je, suis, je parle espagnol, je suis espagnol. Je parle euh, russe, je suis russe. Je parle chinois, je suis chinois. And here, Emirati. Emirati, it's the, the adjective. For the feminine, just... We, uh, we activate the rules of the feminine and the plural that we just studied. Like, here this word is finished with en. For the feminine, we add an e. Like, Egyptian, Saudian, Italian, Francaise. This is it's not finished with uh, something from the cases that we studied. Like, if it was f to be ve like that. No, so we add here normally. Francaise, American. Japanese, Allemand, Espagnol, Russe, it's finished with E, so we can't add another silent E. Chinoise and Emirati, Emirati, this further. Let's go to the listening. This is the listening. We have uh, four questions. We have um, listening comprehension. Let's listen two times, then we go to the transcript and to answer. Exercice 9. Salut, c'est Camille. Je vais au cinéma avec mon frère cet après-midi. On va voir l'arnaqueur à 15h30. Tu veux venir avec nous On se retrouve devant le café bleu à 15h Rappelle-moi pour me dire si tu es d'accord. A tout à l'heure Exercice 9 Salut, c'est Camille. Je vais au cinéma avec mon frère cet après-midi. On va voir l'arnaqueur à 15h30. Tu veux venir avec nous on se retrouve devant le Café Bleu à 15h. Rappelle-moi pour me dire si tu es d'accord. A tout à l'heure. Okay, here. Just as we said before that to improve your skills. Uh, to improve your skills in the speaking and the listening, just try to uh, repeat sentence by sentence the speech of the native speaker, then to repeat it sentence by sentence. Salut, c'est Camille. The name of this girl is Camille. Je vais au cinéma. I go to the cinema avec mon frère cet après-midi, with my brother this afternoon. On va voir l'arnaqueur. L'arnaqueur with a capital letter, it's a proper name for a place. Okay. Uh, here, uh, for, sorry, for the, this is the name. Of the movie, the name of the movie. It's it's a proper name in general, but it's not for a place because they are going to the cinema. Here they will see l'arnaqueur. It's this the name of the movie. Logically, it's understood. À 15h30, at 15:30, tu veux venir avec nous? You want to come with us? On se retrouve devant le café bleu. We meet each other, and I explained this before. Le rendez-vous. Here in the question, rendez-vous. Okay, the appointment. You are going to the cinema. So here, le rendez-vous, it means the appointment before, yeah, they, they will meet each other before going to this place. So, on se retrouve, we meet each other. Se retrouve means meet each other devant le café bleu, in front of the uh, café bleu. Its name is café bleu. It's not blue, real blue. Can be sure, but this is a proper name too. Le café bleu à 15h, at 15. Rappelle-moi. Pay attention that uh, the movie will start at 15.30, but they will meet each other at 15 at 3 p.m. and the movie will start at 3:30 p.m. Rappelle-moi, rappelle-moi it means recall me. Appelle, appelle-moi, call me. Rappelle-moi, 
and recall me pour me dire si tu es d'accord. To say to me pour me dire to tell me si f tu es d'accord, if you are okay. A tout à l'heure, see you later. Donc, uh, let's answer these questions. They are going sure to the they are going to the cinema here. The answer is A. The answer is A. They are going to the cinema. And Camille va au rendez-vous avec qui? Avec son frère. Here is it. Je vais au cinéma avec mon frère. Avec mon frère. So here, elle va, it can be, avec son frère. The short answer. These are the criteria of the DELS diploma. Is to say that the answers in A1 level and A2 level even in the, in the short way. Uh, où est le rendez-vous? Where is le rendez-vous? Here, le rendez-vous est devant le café bleu. In front of le café bleu. Devant le café bleu. Devant le café bleu. Ah, à quelle heure est le rendez-vous? Pay attention here. À quelle heure? At what time? It can be confusing this question. À quelle heure est the movie in the cinema? Or le rendez-vous. We're talking about le rendez-vous. It means... À 15h. But the movie will start at 15.30. OK? But here we are talking about the rendezvous, so it will be 15h. 15h. Means at 3 p.m. I hope you understood this. Donc, let's go to the vocabulary and the last thing we will study. Quelle est ta tenue favorite? Tenue means outfit. It means like the clothes that you like to wear when you go out with your friends in the school like that. Ta tenue favorite. Qu'est-ce que tu mets? What do you wear? May or port, it has the same meaning, like verb to wear or to put on. Je mets, I wear or I put on, un t-shirt, un sweatshirt, un pull, pullover, une veste, une chemise, shirt, une blouse, uh, blouse, uh, but pay attention, this is for girls, not the blouse with a uh, Saudian accent, blouse, it's like the t-shirt of a boy, no, blouse, It's like a, she a shirt for uh, girls or women in general. Pay attention to this uh, point. There is a difference in the culture here in this point. In rob, it means uh, a dress. In rob means a dress where we can wear in the weddings, in the ceremonies like that. Pay attention that the rob that we can wear inside uh, the bedroom or inside the apartment, in rob de chambre. They were, they said this word. In robe de chambre, this is the robe, robe that we can say that we can wear inside the house. But outside, in robe. Outside, this is for women, they can wear it outside. When they go out, in robe. Un pantalon, pants. Un short, short. Un pantacour, pantacour. This is a short pants. Not a short, but short pants. Une jupe. Uh, in jupe here, this is for girls. Jupe, like we say, skirt or jiba. Uh, yes. De basket, this is the casual shoes. This is the casual shoes, de basket. De chaussettes, socks. De chaussures, it's the, the classic shoes. The classic shoes, de pantoufles or de chaussons. It's like the crocs. The crocs. These two words are crocs. Je vais à l'école. Comment vas-tu à l'école? How do you go to school? Comment vas-tu à l'école? Je vais à l'école en bus. I go to school en bus. En car. Well, car here, this is the coaster one. Lea of the, of the school, the school bus, like the, the 27 passengers. Uh, the bus of the 27 passengers. The coaster uh, car. En taxi, en métro, en train, en voiture. Train, voiture means the uh, private car. The private car. A pied, on foot, a vélo, on bike, a bicyclette, it's bike too, a moto, motorcycle, a cheval, on horse. Now I'm sure we, we can't go to the school uh, riding a horse, uh, but just we are studying here the uh, prepositions before the ways of transportation. Pay attention that anything with the roof, this is like a general rule, anything with the roof will be with the preposition on. And anything without roof will be with a preposition on. Oh, this is a grammatical point uh, or a grammar point. It can be in the exam too. Okay, you can be tested in this in the grammar part or the grammar questions in the exam or the uh, quiz. Pay attention to this. Here, the other question. 
les parties du corps humain, the uh, human body parts, j'ai, I have, une tête, head, un visage, face, un nez, nose, une bouche, mouth, et des yeux, means eyes, un oeil, only one eye, des oreilles, means ears, des deux jambes, deux jambes, it means uh, two legs, un pied, foot, un genou, the knee, un orteil, this is the finger of the foot, uh, deux bras, two arms, une main, une main, it's a hand, un coude, elbow, un doigt, the finger of the hand, un ventre, means belly, uh, or stomach, like you say in Arabic, button, not stomach, because the stomach in French is stomach, or stomach, uh, but ventre, it's belly, or uh, button, in general. Un dos means back, means back. Une épaule means shoulder. Une épaule means shoulder. Euh, donc, euh, on a fini notre cours numéro 8 et on a fini notre stage. We finished our sessions. Euh, ok, j'espère que c'était profitable pour vous. I hope it was useful for you. Euh, donc, et je vous quitte à bientôt, Inch'Allah. Si vous voulez n'importe quelle question, vous pouvez. Euh, posez euh, toutes vos questions à, à l'école ou bien euh, envoyez-moi des, des messages via la boîte de réception de, euh, de Classera. Donc vous êtes toujours le bienvenu euh, ou les bienvenus et je vous quitte à bientôt. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.